What is going on everybody? I'm back with another video. So I guess I'm going to be making a, a uh, zero tolerance holiday. So uh, I just reviewed the ZT0456 and now I'm going to go take a look at the ZT0220. This is a gift for me uh, from Jeff Juice. Thank you Jeff. Um, I just uh, has been I've just been carrying this for the past week or so and been using it, you know, cutting boxes, cutting rope, cutting, you know, all sorts of stuff which, you know, requires cutting. And uh, it's a very, very good knife, as I would come to expect from a ZT product. So here yeah. it is in the closed position. We got the show side here. You can see it has a very nice streamlined kind of look uh, with the little flipper tab on the top. Uh, why don't we just start there? So the flipper tab is very nicely jimped. Uh, not very hard cut, but well enough that your fingers uh, gain good purchase from it. I will say this is definitely not a knife. Uh, or flipper style where you where you do a push button on it more of a rock back on it light switching as they call it uh, Because of the the way the um, the way the flipper is designed what the enough knows in the on the ZTs of late is that um, The way they design uh, their stuff it's it really generates a lot of um, kinetic energy so and the, when I first got this knife, it was very hard to open because, you know, when if you're right-handed, you got your fingers right on the lock bar here, and it just will not open, and you have to take a lot of force to pull back on the on the flipper tab. But, hey, you know what? Once this thing breaks the detent, it just flies out with authority. It's very, very cool. But uh, more on that in a little bit. So on this side, you see there is a uh, decorative pivot, although it is blacked out. Uh, and again, you don't get the pivot on the other side, much like the 0456. I mean, something I'd, I kind of, um, I kind of wish it did it on both sides, you know, nice decorative pivot on both sides. The other thing is that it has a nice, uh, orange backspacer. I kind of wish the pivot would match the, um, uh, hardware, the color of the, of the backspacer. Uh, but whatever, that's just aesthetics. There's really no, uh, need to do that because the, uh, form and function of the knife is, is, you know, very, very good. Here is the orange backspacer. Now this is something I really, really like because uh, it, it uh, pops out and uh, gives a nice dash of color to the overall kind of gray knife. So we got a little, little bit of blue and orange popping out on here. And I uh, love the way they did the, um, the lanyard hole here. Now I was kind of worried that this would impede on my, uh, on my uh, you know, the way ability to hold on the handle where it might stick into my, my palm, but it actually really doesn't. And look how generous that that opening is. You can put anything through there. I mean, paracord with the strands, uh, with the inner strands with it, uh, would fit just perfectly fine. Very beautifully done. So on the uh, lock side, we have the rather drab looking ZT clip. Um, I really, really wish that they'd stop using this clip. Very functional, but it's just, you know, not very good looking. But that's just my opinion. Now, it is a low ride clip, as you can see there. So it rides very comfortably in the pocket and very minimal, although it's very hard to get out of your pocket. So I usually have to hook my finger on the clip and pull. Uh, aside from that, uh, very, in, uh, very um, kind of plain looking lock bar geometry there. Uh, very clean looking. It does have a lock bar insert. As you may see, centering is dead on, uh, as what I've come to expect from ZT products. And of course, this rides on bearings. Now, taking a look at the blade, you can tell it's absolutely sterile, which is something I really like. Uh, but at least that's only on the show side, though. Now, on the reverse side, you got the same billboard kind of stuff going on for ZT. You got the model number, the designer, which in this case is Jens Anso and uh, USA S35 VN, which is a very nice steel. A little bit hard to sharpen, at least in my experience, but very nice steel. And I got number tw uh, 2028. That'd be really cool if I had the number 0220. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, uh, very sharp blade out of the box. Uh, again, I've been cutting a lot of stuff with this uh, blade and uh, it's held up very well so far as I would have expected from an S35 VN uh, steel. All right, so let's take a look at deployment. As I said, this thing rockets out, but you have to break that detent. And the trick is you don't want to hold on to the uh, the bar. So one way is you instead of holding it like a traditional flipper, where you where you're kind of like this, um, you want to hold it a little bit to the side, kind of like this. And it's a lot easier, and it flies right out with authority. Very smooth. Of course, ambidextrous. Much easier to open with the left hand since uh, your fingers are not resting on the locking bar. So it's very smooth, very fast. 
and now that I've gotten used to opening it, it's a lot easier to, to, to deal with. So I do like how simple the construction is where you only got the pivot and then two screws here holding everything together. So minimalist in terms of construction. Uh, very, very cool knife. I really like this and uh, I'm definitely going to be EDCing this for a long while. And uh, who can go wrong with a USA made knife, right? The knife being in your hand, it is very, very comfortable. As you can tell, even though I have medium-sized hands, and this does not impede whatsoever, no matter where I hold it, and this little uh, protrusion here does not uh, impede on my urn, and impede on my um, ability to hold on to knife. Doesn't make it anywhere uncomfortable. There are no hot spots. You know, here's the ice pick grip. Um, just very comfortable knife overall. And when you're holding on to it, it because the, the blade drops a little bit, it makes it very easy for for cutting tasks. Now there is no jimping or thumb ramp, but it doesn't matter. You got the nice little flipper here, kind of keeps your fingers in. And uh, and if it happens to fail, you know it'll, you'll get your fingers pinched, but that's basically about it. So as long as you're gripping uh, nicely, uh, firmly on the knife, there shouldn't be any problems. So, okay, well that has been a quick look at the Zero Tolerance Zero Two Two Zero. I really recommend this knife. I love it. Uh, in terms of grip, there isn't very much texture on the knife, which makes it a little bit more slippery than uh, an, an, any other uh, zero tolerance knife. Um, but you know what? I, I have no worries about this. Uh, and for a folding knife, uh, it's a perfect size for EDC for me. And uh, I'm going to continue to carry this as, you know, basically I think I'm going to carry this for a long time to come. So. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me, and as always, uh, you know, this channel would not be possible with all my viewers. So again, a big, big thank you to you guys. And if you've got any questions or comments, uh, please leave it below or send me a personal message. Aside from that, take care, have a nice day, and I'll catch you all on the next one.